Welcome to Sky Blast TV News. My name is Shita A. These are news headlines. APC's lies can't stop us from reclaiming our mandate, P2B. Bauchi Deputy Governor elect promises loyalty support for Governor Mohammed. Efforts to, to discredit OB have failed. OB that he campaign tells APC. Police arrest Imo Monarch over social media posts. Governors to DSS. Arrest prosecutes those behind interim government plots. EPA title, he is the missing link, double enhanced my United name of player to sign. News in details. The Labour Party presidential candidate in the recently concluded February 25th general election, P2B, had dismissed an alleged audio recording of a telephone conversation between him and Bishop David Doyetebu of the Living Faith Church as a product of the endless forgeries of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Obi, in a reaction to the audio recording in which he was alleged to have asked the cleric to mobilize support for him ahead of the disputed election, warned that the APC is desperate to grab and retain power by creating lies. He insisted that APC's latest move has failed woefully. Bauchi State Deputy Governor Let Mohammed Awa Jatau has promised to be loyal and supportive to his principal, Governor Bala Abdukadi Mohammed. Jatau, a House of Representatives member, said this in a statement issued to journalists in Bauchi after receiving his certificate of return, stating that it was a great honor to be selected as the running mate to Governor Mohammed in the March 18 governorship election in the state. While expressing his profound gratitude to the governor for finding him worthy to be his deputy for the next four years of his administration, the Dow promised to reciprocate the gesture by being a loyal and supportive deputy governor for the success of the People's Democratic Party PDP-led administration in the state, especially in the implementation of people-oriented projects and programs. Attempts to portray Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Pitobi as having credibility problem have failed, says the Obi Dati campaign organization. It noted that Obi is the only presidential candidate who has publicly urged Nigerians to not cast their foot for him based on religion or tribe. In a statement over the weekend, Mr. Dira and Onifade, the spokesperson for Mr. Obi, accused the All Progressive Congress (APC) of devising various tricks and mischiefs to demarcate the Labour Party presidential candidates. Onifade claimed that more than a month after snatching the election as they intended, the APC's desperation to seize and hold on to power by diverse methods has persisted. The Imo State Police Command has arrested the traditional ruler of Umucheke Umobom in Idato South, local government area of the state, as a Kenel Binale, for sharing a publication that was against Governor Hope Uzadima on the social media. Our correspondent gathered from a credible source that the monarch was weeks away on Wednesday after he had shared a scandalous publication indicting the state governor Hope Uzadima on a WhatsApp platform. The embattled traditional ruler reportedly reposted the write up on a WhatsApp group platform called a Data Voice on March 20th. Confirming the incident, the administrator of the platform, Vitu Zenwa, said that. He was the first to be arrested by the police but was granted bail after the police apprehended the traditional ruler, explaining the nature of the publication. As one said that, it allegedly traced the circumstances leading to the gruesome murder of former political advisor to the president, Ahmed Gulag, in New States. He said, I'm the witness to this. I was arrested by the police over the post because I'm the administrator of the platform where it was made. A data voice platform. I was detained until the royal father was arrested and currently detained. The Nigeria's Governor's Forum, NGF, has condemned any unconstitutional means of regime change in the country and placed their commitment to defending Nigeria's democracy as elected leaders. The governors were reacting to the statement by the Department of State Services, DSS, on plus by some political actors to introduce an interim government in Nigeria. They, however, said that issuing statements without arrest by the DSS was akin to beating up the polity and causing unwarranted tension in the country. This was contained in a communique signed by NGF chairman and governor of Sokoto State, Amin Tambowa, after an emergency meeting of the governors. 
The governor said the forum deliberated extensively on the alleged plot by some unscrupulous element to install an interim government, as contained in the recent statement issued by the Department for State Services (DSS). Governors condemn in the strongest terms any unconstitutional means of regime change and pledge its commitment to continue to defend Nigeria's democracy as elected leaders. Sports news: Former Manchester United attacker Dion. Dublin has urged his former club to sign Tottenham Hotspur striker Harry Kane if they want to win the English Premier League title in the near future. Dublin believes Kane is the missing link my United needs to become Premier League title contenders. Kane's current contract with Tottenham will expire at the end of next season. Chelsea slipped into Premier League's bottom half with 2 0 loss to Aston Villa. Goals from striker Oli Watkins and captain John McGinn and Aston Villa all three points in the possessing 2-0 Premier League mid-table win at Chelsea on Saturday. The result sent Villa into ninth in the table, leapfrogging Chelsea who dropped into the bottom half. Joaquin took a chance in 18 minutes after a mistake from retreating defender Marco Corella who headed a long ball into his path and he calmly lobbied his shot over advancing Chelsea goalkeeper Kepa. Ariza Balaga. Chelsea, who enjoyed some 69% possession and more than two dozen shots, but are so often this season proved toothless in front of goal, came out guns blazing in the second half only to concede a corner from a villa break. Hello and welcome to Sky Blast TV Weather Focus. My name is Justice Isiwa. Increased cloud build-up is expected across the southern cities, but with intervals of sunshine. Although there are prospects for isolated morning thunderstorms to parts of Lagos State and Cross River State, the central region should be partly cloudy to hazy atmosphere, which should spend throughout the focus period further into the afternoon and evening hours. The southern areas appears to be variable for isolated thunderstorms from the stretch of the coastal cities extending to the inland areas of Ogun or your own Enugu and parts of Kogi, the federal capital territory and Benue states up north, the atmosphere should be hazy with lots of sunny spells. We expect significant temperature increase, especially for residents of the north, and this may likely cause some thermal discomfort so please enable to stay hydrated thanks for watching Talk at Skyblast TV, YouTube at Skyblast TV, Facebook Skyblast TV Live, Instagram Skyblast TV, Twitter Skyblast TV, Reddit Skyblast TV, Pinterest Skyblast TV, LinkedIn Skyblast TV.